Hey, Professor. I might have to go back home for a little while. Well, that's one way of putting it. The Almiran forces are causing trouble at Fodlin's Locket. Oh, do you know where that is? Well, the mountain range that separates the Alliance from Almira is called Fodlin's Throat. There's a fortress right on top of the throat, and they call that Fodlin's Locket. Well, yeah, you could say that. I'm sure my brother would be able to handle them on his own. But he said he really wants me to help out. I guess he's a bit tired out from all his hard work. Anyway, our dad's not as sprightly as he used to be. He's not up for a fight. Apparently, it would look bad if we left it to the retainers. I really, really don't want to go, but I guess I have to. Hey, Hilda. I, well, I wasn't trying to eavesdrop, but I heard you talking. Hmm? Oh, what's up, Cyril? You're gonna fight the Almirans, yeah? Yes, but it's nothing you need to worry about, Cyril. It's not that. I was just wondering if... if maybe I could maybe go along with you. But you'd be fighting people from your homeland. Do you really want to do that? None of them would remember me anyway. It's just that I got captured in the battle at the Locket, and that's how I ended up here. So I'm kind of worried that other kids who lose their folks might not be so lucky. Before Lady Rhea took me in, I had a real hard time as a servant of House Goneril. I'm sorry to hear that, but it's not like I'll go around snapping up all Myron children. That's good, but I just... I want to see things for myself, so I know that everything's okay. Hmm. Well then, let's go together. Oh, would you want to join us, Professor? My brother will be there, but I'm a little scared about fighting all those fierce Almirans. If you could come too, it'd be really great. We'd all feel way safer if you did. Great! I know we'll be okay if you're there. Let's head out right away. I'll go and get ready too. Most of our allies have fallen. My big brother and I can probably handle this, though. Hilda. Glad you made it. Lord Holst has been afflicted with a sudden illness and couldn't come. He's not here? Oh, I'm sorry. You must have been absolutely terrified. It's okay, though. I brought along someone who can definitely help us. That's you, Professor. Please help us save our allies and protect Fodlin's locket. Good thing I knew about this back road, huh? We ought to be able to help our friends from here. I will get the victory. That's my cue. Support! We're saved! You can't stop me! Stop! I've got many skills, you know. Oh no.
the sun. I sped a weakling to their demise. Stay focused. Each battle a chance to grow. Sometimes. <laughs> it's over. <laughs> As expected. Didn't you hear? I'm dangerous. Oh! Winning's always nice. Roses have thorns. My foes someday forgive me.
not be stopping. Ah, <sighs> things are looking up. Let's keep going and save the others. Somehow. Cyril, Professor, thank you. You bet. I'm gonna drop by my family's estate and complain to my brother a bit. You two should head back. They aren't really trying to cross Fodlan's throat. I'm not saying they're not serious, but fights like this one aren't really invasions. They just start fights like this sometimes. It's so they can show off how strong they are. I think it's pretty dumb. I mean, people are getting killed. And why? So some guy can think he's tough? After every fight, they do a big feast and everybody eats and dances and there's music. It's supposed to honor the dead, but I figure they just like to make noise. I think they're all idiots, but if I'm real honest, it wasn't the worst way to live life. Nah, I'm where I belong now, and I don't really like Almira. If they want to show how tough they are, then they ought to look after kids who've lost their parents. Oh, I'm tired. Professor, Cyril, thanks for all your help. You get a chance to see your brother? I did, though I think I'd be better off otherwise. He was horribly ill, for one thing. He looked so pale and haggard. Apparently, he'd eaten a bad mushroom before the battle, and it made him horribly sick. What an idiot. Anyway, when I told him we'd handled the Almiron situation, he was just gushing with praise. I tried telling him that it wasn't all me, but he didn't even listen. That did feel pretty good, I'll admit, but then things got awkward. He started trying to pawn off his whole inheritance. I told him I wanted none of it. Eventually, he settled for foisting this thing on me. Do you know what it is? One heck of an axe. He gave it to you? Yes, it's a magic axe called Frykugel. It's the hero's relic of House Goneril. He said that I should have it, since the crest I bear will allow me to wield it. He was so insistent I eventually relented. But I don't think I can be responsible for something so precious. Hey, Professor, why don't you take it instead? Heroes' relics contain terrifying power. They're beyond the capabilities of a novice like me. You're the only person I trust to take care of it. Please, help me out here. Thank you so much. I honestly didn't know what I was going to do with this thing. A big scary axe is not my style. Plus, look closely. Parts of the axe are pulsating like it's alive. How gross is that? But. I'll use it if you tell me to, Professor. Or you could get somebody else to wield it if you like. It's all up to you now. That Hilda, she really is something. <laughs> <laughs> 